What's up everybody, this is Bill with OMG Droid. Uh, today we're going to do a review for you. What I have here is the Nexus 7 and Xbox 360. What we're looking at today is Xbox Smart Glass for Android. So what this app will do is allow you to use most of the functions on your Xbox from your Android device. So this is currently supported for ice cream sandwiching up. And uh, let's get into the video. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I have my Xbox 360 powered on on my TV here. And I've got the Nexus 7 here next to it. So there is still some things that you're going to have to do with your normal Xbox 360 gaming controller, uh, such as play games, stuff like that. And I'm sure that Microsoft's uh, plans are to upgrade this more and more as they go. So what I'm going to walk you through today is some stuff that you can do with the uh, with your Android device so let's go ahead and open the app you see here Nexus 7 loading up uh, smart glass okay signing in okay there you go right when it comes up it tells you the last thing you've done so you can go right here you can hit play so now we're at a remote so it says swipe sideways to change so you can see how it's selecting things you can swipe sideways and hold to go faster so you see how I did that hop right over okay so and as you can see my Xbox has the update for uh, Internet Explorer so you can see here when you click on the search bar it's gonna bring up my standard keyboard that I have on Nexus 7 so now if I type something in here, uh, say we want to look at uh, YouTube, so we can go Y-O-U, and it automatically came up right here, YouTube. So there it goes. We can hit Done. So you can see there, it opened up the app for the uh, YouTube. So you can see how that worked. So now we can scroll through these options here. We can scroll back. So it's pretty quick. There isn't a lot of lag between device and uh, Xbox. We can select. You can see we have our four main button or three main buttons here. So touching the screen is the A button. Then you have X to back up. So and then we can go right here to this little button and it's a switch. So I can go guide. That's going to bring up the. Uh, it's just like hitting the Xbox button on your controller. We can come back. We can go back to controller. So now we're back here. We can hit B. We can hit A to play video. So once you're signed into your Xbox with your YouTube, your Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, all that stuff, once you're signed in and you check mark uh, Remember Me, everything syncs up pretty nicely on the Xbox. So you can see here it's going to take some take a second to load. Okay, so you can see here once uh, YouTube is loaded up, it takes a second for it to load up everything. We can just hit the center of the screen to select a video. Do you see how that worked? So you can see how that works. It's pretty nice. Hit the B button once, we're back up. We just hold down over, we can keep going over. Ladies and gentlemen, here to perform a slam So you can see how the YouTube app works. So now to get back home, we're going to hit B. Uh, we can just go X. Sorry, I guess I messed that up. You can hit the switch button down here. And we can hit guide. Okay, then we can just hit A, Xbox Home, scroll up, yes. So it's going to load up the home. So there you go, now we're back home. Okay, so now we're home, so we can slide over. You can see here, we can go all the way over here. Okay, so we've got the Netflix, 
Let's take a look at Internet Explorer. Okay, we're going to hit A once more. Play now. So the way they've integrated the keyboard with Android is really pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I'm really happy with that. So you can see here. So now we can we got control over this cursor. You can see there. So we can go to featured. Now this is featured stuff. So we can come down. We can just hold over and we're scrolling over. Hold back and we're scrolling back. So we can check out Twitter. I've already signed in and hit it remember me. So once you do that once, you're good to go. So you can see here, there we're on Twitter now. At Bill Ramsey Jr. Okay, so we can go right here. Okay, so you can see there, we've typed in Smart Glass on Twitter using the keyboard on the next seven. So you can see here, we'll bring down the uh, keyboard. There I went. I'm really hoping they'll put out a couple of updates and fix some of the bugs. You can see there I had to touch it a couple times to get to drop the keyboard. So tweet, and your tweet was posted. So now we can go hit here, and you can see there it brought up a selection on my Nexus 7. So if I want to go to Twitter, you can see here it's got an, if you touch the screen here, see, it has... <laughs> It has an address bar here. So we can type in whatever we want there. We're at Twitter.com. We can hit this. We can go to Twitter on the tablet. There it is right there, Twitter on the tablet itself. Okay, so you can see how that loaded up. Okay, so then we can hit the back arrow. And we are back to Smart Glass. You can see we have our cursor up there. It's highlighting things as we go by. So if we want to look up information about Galaxy Nexus, we just click on it. There's all the tweets about Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so we can go hit the back arrow back here on the uh, Nexus 7. You see, that's how you back up on the actual Xbox. You just hit this little back arrow here. And remember that you can always, so for instance, right here, it says press Y to open Web Hub. We can press this. Brings us up with this menu here. Okay, so we're gonna go controller, and we're gonna hit Y. Okay, so there we're back to the browser. Okay, so you can see here we are back to the browser. So, and we're still on our controller mode. So we're just going to hit the little arrows here that says switch. And we are going to go to browser. Now that's going to bring up our browser. So now we have access to our cursor. So now if we want to enter in a website to go to on the Nexus 7, we can push it here. We can take the guide, our little cursor on screen. You go up there, you see it's going to bring up the keyboard. So now let's go to a website here, Cruiser Light. There it is. You can see it comes up with the shortcuts here on the keyboard, and they work up there. We can hit Done, Searching. There we go. Simply touch it. Now again, games and stuff like that, you're still going to be using your regular Xbox 360 controller. But as you can see there, now you also, another cool feature is on the side over here, you do have, what you see that there, you actually have a scroll bar here. You can see this gray bar there on Nexus 7. So you can see that's scrolling up and down on the page. If we want to look at something, we can just go over to it, click on it.
So you can see how that works. So now we can go back to switch. We can go guide. It's going to bring up our Xbox button. So now we have our options there on the Xbox. And we're just going to hit A. We're going to go Xbox Home. We're going to hit Select. And we're going to go back to the Home on Xbox. Okay, so some really cool features about Smart Glass. You can see I'm on this screen here on the tablet. We're going to hit the back arrow once. We're going to hit back again. Okay, so then you can see here you have stuff that you can go to from here. You also have pages that you can slide to. So you can see it says Bing right there. You have this page that shows your home. You have your name right there. There's your little avatar right here. You can add, actually dress your avatar and change its features. Okay, you have recent. Discover. You see how that looks? You can discover stuff. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five screens here. So you can see you have a little clothing button here. Show you how this works. You can see I got my little avatar there. You can change its features. Simply hit the back arrow once. You can change his clothes. Oh, let's put some new pants on him. Okay. Let's hit the check mark. Okay, so then let's hit the back arrow once. We're going to hit this little disc so we can save that. And it's going to show me my new avatar. And there he is. So now I have my Xbox controller in my hand. Show you on here. Should load him up as being his new uh, character. See what happens up here on the Xbox. So I'm not sure how much of a delay it is between when it changes your character, but as you can see there on the Xbox, my character is not changed, but on here it shows that he is changed. So I'm not sure if you would have to log out and log back onto your Xbox before he changes or how that works. So we can hit the Xbox the button here. We just closed out of the app. Go back into it. It syncs up fairly quick. I just want to show you that it can sync up no matter where you are on your Xbox. So you can see there, it's giving me the option to go to the remote. I can hit the play remote. I can slide over here. So here's another cool feature I wanted to show you on the tablet. So we're going to zoom in on the tablet here. We type in the word go on the tablet. Hit the search button on my keyboard. You see there it came up with all kinds of options. So this is using what Bing would use on your Nexus 7. Or on your uh, Xbox 360, sorry. So you can see that. HBO Go. Play on Xbox. That should technically work. I hope. HBO Go. So you can see how that is. HBO Go opening up in the background there. So Smart Glass I think is a feature that everyone was waiting for. I think it will be really nice once they just improve a few of the bugs that there is. There's not a lot but there is some bugs I've noticed. So you can see here we can go over, we can just hold over, we can swipe. Now of course to have HBO Go you need to have Comcast or something like that. So we can look at Halloween Collection. So there we go. And watch a movie right on here. Let's give me the option to play it. So now it's going to stream it. So you can see how Smart Glass is a big improvement to the Xbox. And to see it come over to Android, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy. Anyways, uh, that's my review for Xbox Smart Glass. Uh, there is tons of stuff you can do. Go get the app and check it out for yourself. You can see here I have a TV remote as well. 
which I wasn't aware of. So we can hit pause right there. We can pause that. Uh, let's see, we can go, we can hit the back arrow. We can hit back again, I'm thinking. We can go here, we can go remote. Okay, now we have this play, pause, and fast forward down here. So you can see there, play, pause, hit the switch, let's hit the guide. You can see there, there's my guide. Hit home. Are you sure you want to go home? Yes. So go download Smart Glass from the uh, Google Play Store. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, if you're an Xbox 360 user like I am, you can come find me. I play Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it's Honda 250X ATV, all capital. So anyways, I'll put my name down in the description if you want to come find me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. What's up, everybody? This is Bill. Uh, I'm glad you are subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, continue to watch my videos. Uploading new stuff every couple days. I find all kinds of stuff to upload. I try to keep YouTube busy. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me uh, right over there on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me right up that way on Twitter and right over there. On Facebook and I'm also on Google Plus right there anyways hope you continue to watch my videos uh, go ahead and give me the like button give me a thumbs up uh, hit that plus one button down there and uh, make sure you read my description I try to keep important information down there anyways stay tuned for more videos Here's the